Welcome, Welcome to, to Skill Header, the Advanced Web Authentication Login System Part 4. We have already designed the login page, user register form, and a perfect navigation bar. Please click on the I button above to access the playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to establish a multi-user web login system using MySQL and PHP along with the logout system. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get updates of upcoming videos, like, share, and comment. So far, we have these PHP files. The config file is the connection to the MySQL server. The login form file is part one of this project. The main file is part three, which contains the navigation bar so far, and the register file is about new user registration form. Let's start the PHP section on top of the HTML. First of all, you should have to include the connection file reference. On the submit button, define both variables and apply the SQL query to select the record from the server based on username and password variables. If the record is found, it will fetch the record. Move on to look into the PHP MyAdmin for the table and fields that we will use next. There is a field in the user table which will be updated whenever a user is logged in. So, we will use the update function to update that field.
if the user is not found, a message should appear. We are using HTML tags within PHP to use the bootstrap alert function and make its reference into the HTML code. Let's try to log in for the first time. Oops, we have got a warning message on line 19 of our code as an undefined variable. In coding, everyone should have to be a good problem solver. Issue number one is the reference of the connection variable. The second issue is the reference to the table field. Let's see if it works this time. That is great, here is the main page with the navigation bar. Now, let's see how logout will work with the sessions. Make a new logout file. You need to simply unset the sessions and return to the login form. We have not made any reference to the logout form, so make it first. Fine, logout is working now. To accomplish the multi-user environment, the main page will be used for only the admin account, and the home page for a user account. Meanwhile, we will copy the main form rename it as home, and change the heading to home. To switch between the multiple accounts, we need to use sessions like this and trigger the type of the accounts.
let's see if both accounts work. We have successfully logged into the admin account and log out. Great, in the same way, we have also successfully logged into the user account as well. In the next video, we will learn how to work with the change password system.